And we're back to Mass Effect 2. Dark and Rand steadily chipping at a galaxy that doesn't want to be saved. As you should. Bastards. Hello. Okay. Stuff. <coughs> From Tombs. What the hell kind What's of game are you... Again? Huh? What's that again? Uh, I'll get to that in a second. What the hell kind of game are you playing, Shepard? You did the buddy act when I had the gun on the Cerberus scientist, telling me you understood. Now I find out you're working for Cerberus? Tests were done on me that you can't even imagine. For years, Cerberus did them. They tortured me, used me as a damn lab rat. And now you're teaming up with them like they're any other Merc band? I've got my own Merc team now, Shepard. And I kill any Cerberus team I can find. If I run into you, don't expect any different. You had this fight. He was, um, the Alliance soldier we talked down in one side mission who was gunning down who had a team and was killing other Cerberus teams. So he's understandably upset. Yeah. <clears throat> From Shaman Erdnot. Damn it, I hate these things, but you need to hear this. <clears throat> you're part of Grunt's Krant, and you're his leader, so keep him alive. Here, I have to stay polite, play the role, but our people are dying. Krogan have always valued survival over tradition. If we're going to survive as a people, we need your fat-grown grunt. Okir was a madman, but he was a madman with a plan. And that's more than most have on this ball of rock. So bring him back from your damn mission. My people need him. And if you all get killed, I'll piss on your graves. <laughs> Fair enough. But don't worry. We're not going to live in a different From Captain Bailey, C-Sec. Hey, Shepard, just want to let you know that the drug kid's doing okay. Everything's taken care of legally, and he's doing some work for me, helping me deal with some trash in the wards. Maybe m make life better for some of the kids like Mouse. Not perfect, but then, what is? Don't know if your drill and mine are talking. I told him life was too short not to, but I don't know if it took. Good luck out there. That's nice. Yeah? Alright, the other two the DLC. Yeah, the other two DLC. And I need to remember to go Commander, put a fucking... Shut up, Kelly. Private terminal. Ah, wall. <laughs> I need to go put a helmet on now. My dear baby. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with the breather helmet. Plus 5% health. <coughs> <coughs> Oi! Excuse me. Damn, that one had some shock damage. Blah, blah, blah. Words. Anyway, and that's our business on the Citadel concluded. So, which one should we go for next? Zaid? Uh. Daddy. No, we're waiting on that one. Jack. Jack, it is. What was that? My headset cut out for a moment. I say it. I see a lot of zero percent there, and I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, Pragya, jungle planet Pragya is overrun by choking hypergrowth caused by industrial mutated plant species. This, combined with its relative isolation and lack of population, made Pragya an occasional base of operations for drug runners, weapon smugglers, pirates, mercenaries, terrorists, and intelligence agents seeking secrecy. Sustained habitation of Pragya is extremely difficult, where mutant and even poisonous plant life can overgrow colonies in days instead of years. What a pleasant place! Right. Nothing like some uh, top tier grade orange. Nah. Wonder if we'll find more of the mind controlling plants like this. Thorian? Fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, that was mm, something to. Who to bring? Who to front? Hey, uh, at least Mass Effect has some actual variety in its enemy. Has some what? Actual variety in its enemy. <laughs> 
how much I hate this place. See the landing pad? Has to be on the roof, or the vegetation would overgrow it in a few hours. Shepard, I am picking up thermal signatures everywhere, except at your landing zone. Something's distorting the sensors. Yeah. They build their equipment to last. Assholes. It was a mistake coming back here, Shepard. Get a hold of yourself. It'll be okay. I'm fine. Okay, let's get on the ground. Moments like this are times I'd be glad I would be wearing a full suit of armor like this. Imagine, imagine how how quickly you get soaked. Just get the bomb in myself. I want to watch this place burn. I never saw this room. I think they brought new kids in these containers. They were messed up and starving, but alive. Usually. Usually. Hey, what the <laughs> And that is it's December for the last episode. Oh, hush. He's getting suspicious. When we get results, he won't care what we did. He won't find out. The elusive man requested oh. operation. They were sneaking around behind the elusive man's back. He didn't say what they were hiding from the elusive man. I remember escaping to this room, fighting here. I saw sunlight through the cracks in the ceiling. Only a half-dead guard between me and freedom. He was begging for his life. I think he got that life. Gives you that idea. The fact that it's Jack. Exactly. Oh, I guess we're fighting Fauna. Varen. They've seen us. You seem to be just a. That's right. They used to stage fights here, pit me against other kids. I loved it. Only time I was ever out of my cell. What were they studying? Hell if I know. Maybe that's how they got their kicks. I never understood anything that happened here. How often did they do this? I was in a cell my whole life. Sometimes they took me out and made me fight, filled me with drugs, other stuff. Time gets funny in a cell. Did other children die in these fights? I was a kid, filled with drugs. I got shocked when I hesitated. Narcotics flooded my veins when I attacked. They actually rewarded you for attacking? I still get warm feelings during a fight. What the hell was wrong with those people? I don't know. Doesn't matter now. Let's keep moving. Yeah. They're not alive enough. Yeah, they've been dead a while. I'm starting to get the feeling that they lost him and would have trouble. Even if they worst. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Security officer Zimple, Telton facility. The subjects are out of their cells. They're tearing the place up. Subject Zero is going to get loose. I need permission to terminate. I repeat, permission to terminate. All subjects besides Zero are expendable. Keep Jack alive. Understood. I'll begin the... That's not right. I broke out when my guards disappeared. I started that riot. Things might have happened that you didn't see. The other kids attacked me, the guards attacked me, the automated systems attacked me. That doesn't leave lots of room for interpretation. This place is supposed to be empty. Who the fuck shot that Baron? It's a fresh kill. Yeah. Guess we're not the only ones here. <laughs> Look 
attack. Oh. oh, he's more Krogan than that one. It's so yeah, of course. It is me. That's how he says it, right? Something like that, yeah. Ooh, Vink is meat. Something like that. Pop up, pop up, how dare you? Oh, you're in an awkward position. children must have died in great numbers. Even then, they were a part of the experiment. Bullshit. I had the worst of it, and I... It's so strange to be back here. Whoops. Interruption. Like I'm pissed off. I'm a dangerous bitch. But then, I'm a little girl again. Shit. It's complicated. Let's just go plant that bomb. Jack, not enjoying the concept of feelings. Yeah... It's, uh, it's one of those things you have to get used to. Get ready. I mean to interact with that, but okay. Entry 1054, Telton facility. The latest iteration of Pergnum went poorly. Subjects 1, 4, and 6 died. No biotic change among the survivors. We lowered core temperatures of surviving subjects, but no biotically beneficial reactions occurred. As a side effect, all subjects died. So we'll not try that on zero. I hope our supply of biotic potential subjects holds up. We are going through them fast. This is bullshit. They weren't experimenting on the other children for my safety. You can't help what they did to others. You don't get it, Shepard. I survived this place because I was tougher than the rest. That's who I am. You move on, harder and tougher. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, but also, you know, all the toughness in the world doesn't really help you if they use the, uh, the wrong treatment on it's you. It's all fallen to pieces. The subjects are rampaging and Zero is loose. We're shutting Kelton down. What a disaster. We'll infiltrate and piggyback onto the Alliance's ascension program. Hopefully, that will give... Zero, wait! Shepard, they started up somewhere else. Ascension is an alliance program. It's a school for biotic kids. They don't torture children there. A lot of this isn't the way I remember it. There was a lot going on. I was dumb. I keep my eyes open now, and I always shoot first. We're getting close to my cell, the place I came from. Let's keep going. Let we fail. A kid full of chop full of drugs, slightly mild remember things. Yeah. Yeah, you can prove it right here. 
You want them dead? We have to talk credits. You promised us lots of salvage, but this place is a waste. Fine, we'll put them down. But I'm coming in there and we're gonna talk salvage. What are you doing here? First we're gonna kill you, then we'll see you. Kill them on my order. I want them dead. I'm sorry, but I just feel something. <laughs> Stop being flaky, you little bastard. Stop being a coward, you coward. We outnumber and outgun them. Well, clearly, you don't know who you're dealing with. He was against the wall over there. No biotics for you. I said no. Only room left is my old cell. Whoever Arresh is, he's in there. I want to plant the bomb there anyway. Might as well do it on his corpse. She's got such a clear thought process on everything. Yeah. I don't think it's really though. Pretty much. Get, get, get off the cover. Maybe we should introduce her to... To who? To who? To who? What's the legal wrong with that? Come out. We know you're here. Who are you? My name is Oresh, and you're breaking into my home. I know you, Subject Zero. So many years have passed, and I thought I was the only survivor. My name is Jack. How the hell do you know me? We all knew your face, Jack. They inflicted horrors on us so their experiments wouldn't kill you. You were the question, and I'm still looking for the answer. Looks like you're not the only one pulled back here, Jack. I tried to forget this, but a place like this, it doesn't forget you. It follows you. I hired these mercs and came back almost a solar year ago. We're rebuilding it piece by piece. I'm gonna find out what they knew. How to unlock true biotic potential in humans. I'm restarting the Telton facility. Hey. It will be beautiful. I wanted a hole in the ground. He's trying to justify what happened by using it? You do the same thing to new kids? Wasn't this forced on you? Some were bought from poor families on Earth or kidnapped from colonies. Most ended up here the way I did. Batarian pirates. They did such horrible things to us. They must have had good reasons. There's no reason good enough. Are you nuts? You lived it. This place was like a prison. How did you get out? We all attacked at once as they were taking us to the lab. They would have put us down. But then Jack got loose. When I came to, it was over. The guards, the scientists, and the kids were all dead. And you were gone. I stopped it. All of it. Maybe the others did have it bad, but what you're doing is just messed. Everything we went through must have been worth something! We can blow up the place, but that still leaves him. What do we do with another you? That's easy. Just leave me here. This is where I belong. Fuck that! Jack, he's trapped in his past. You need to move on from yours. He wants to restart this place. He needs to die. He's crazy, and he's never gonna restart this facility. You have to let it go. Your past doesn't have to control you. Fuck! Get out of here! Go! He's not worth chasing. None of it is. You did the right thing, Jack. Maybe. This room was my whole childhood. Give me a minute to look around. Go ahead. Nothing's changed. But it's all different. Hey. 
Sometimes I dream that I'm back in this bed being tortured. I used to tie the sheets around my wrists and try to rip them off. I want to start up coming back here. I thought that room out there was the rest of the world. I'd pound and yell. It never did any good. <laughs> I used this table for everything. It was like my best friend. I'd crawl under it to cry. I was pathetic. Hmm. See the scarring on the wall here? Time. That's where I killed my first man. One of the guards tried to stop me. Instead, I stopped him. Okay, no more wallowing. Let's blow this place to hell. Sounds good. Oh, okay. Yeah, time to go. <coughs> Just like that. I keep getting a bit confused about the... Like, oh, we're just... Just out. We're Thanks. leaving now. <laughs> That's a pretty big... <laughs> she just fucking nukes the place. She feels a little better. Yeah. Facility on Prague yet confirmed destroyed. Concerned that previous cleanup crew failed to destroy all records. Surviving facility scientists already dead, either from uprising or after facility shutdown. Jack should have no further emotional issues distracting her from mission. <laughs> this is more spam mail. It's literally just a, um, hey, you've been selected to help me with this blank thing. Now, if you could just transfer X number of money to me, we can get started. Yeah, it's, it's fucking bullshit. I bumped into Zaid recently. Quite the character. Given how much violence and destruction that man's seen, he's surprisingly well-adjusted. Still, I wouldn't want to be alone with them. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? So I'm gonna be on the somehow. It's always nice chatting with you. On the post to say ever. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh. That's another one dealt with. Yep. What about Jacob, Miranda, Zaid. Or Samara. Samara. Alright then. This one's actually pretty quick. And we needed to stop by Omega anyway. Oh man. Good place to start. Yeah. Aria has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Arya has in mind. Arya's gotten word that some blood-packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers. A Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories. Especially when he dips into non fiction That's the way an American flag helmet. <laughs> What's our we really need to get back to waste at some point. Indeed. Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. <laughs> Why come to me? Arya's usual muscle not up for the job? Because Arya said so. 
What other reason do you need? People like Arya don't do things without a damn good reason. I want to hear it. Fine, but I didn't tell you this, got me? If it gets out that Arya's protecting Patriarch, well, that can look like a weakness. And some people might want to exploit that. You're not on her payroll, so you helping Patriarch just seems like a random act of kindness. I'll look into yeah, it. That sounds good. Like Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done. You'll get your due. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. Right. Until the mercs move on. Fortunately, we have means of solving those problems. Yes. We can just make the mercs move on. Make them move the six feet line. under. A new bartender. One that won't oh, yeah. poison you. Ah, I didn't think aliens could live like this. Trick. I got a mate and a ship. Fuck you. I only brought one of them with me to the video. I'm the wrong ground. you did. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. Perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. Declare us your grant. We will face down the assassins in your name. My grant. It's been so long since anyone wished to fight for my honor. If you would do this for me, I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Hold it. Let's go play the role of his Krant. Yeah. Out of our way, human. Patriarch says hello. I have to see a Krogan without the will to fight was a, a sad sight. Almost as sad as missing at point blank with a flamethrower. <laughs> That was fast. You killed them all. And everyone knows that the Patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy. A real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Take care, Patriarch. For the first time, I like that name. By the way, mm. be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of this. One look at that. I think we thought. Yeah, if my memory serves me, Patriarch is who Arya took Omega from. 
like, if my memory serves me, she actually started out uh, as one of the dancers in, here here in Afterlife, <laughs> and then she took pay, uh, took down Patriarch. That's a pretty long ladder to climb. I mean, it's just a short jump, you know, from stage to podium. <laughs> Maria wants to speak with you, human. She heard you took on the blood pack assassins yourself. I wouldn't keep her waiting. Word has it that Patriarch's cramp took out the men sent here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a cramp. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. We can use any help we can get. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. In other words, whatever whoever owns it is your problem. I'm a sorry fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardot Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. I don't know. I mean, all we gotta do is draw a line of sight on her, and then we nuke her, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what I carried this thing around for, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I mean, Omega's a big asteroid, so yes. Well, that's enough. Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago, and no one seems to care. The medics said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you one of Aria's people? I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with oh. friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Morn. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Samara, does Morinth control her victims with drugs? She controls them through sheer will. The drugs are just a lifestyle. She loves the club, loves the base. She's a hedonist. So this morning did hurt my daughter? Is she the one that... that... I will bring justice to the one that did this. We swear to you. Neff will rest easy soon. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> my baby. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her. But Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. That sounds familiar. Do you mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. Thank you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. 
I'll examine her things. Right. Not gonna be an easy mission, is it? No, this will not be easy. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime. Don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Mm hmm. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. I dropped your root's name, and they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I was sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Read the middle entry. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Am I a freak? Marth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the hallux is flowing through me, the way she looks at me with a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. And she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Anyone who's successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many yeah. levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. So, what's our next step? Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. She'll come after me. You can draw more in that. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. There are many different kinds of birth, right? Hmm. Something like that. the Details, details. What do you want? I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jeroen. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. You must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. 
Any mistake can warrant will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Alright. Let's start this party. It would help they also changed things and that sort of thumb. Enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. What the hell? I'm just looking for a good time. This isn't your business. <laughs> good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. <laughs> just casually chuck a turian on a dance floor. Man. He attacked first. Yeah, he started it. Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right. Slow down. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Floor, he's the worst of the worst. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florence on to her. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Florence, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. They should probably try to pick up first time he seems not working to us You need something, man? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, my roll. I'm ready to head out. I don't talk to people. Let's see, what else can I do to start? You don't talk to people. <laughs> what are you doing in a club? <laughs> are you sure this is where you want to be? See, that one, I don't have to hide in a front of gate for it. Unfortunately. Oh, but I had to hide in a paragon for that. These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend money. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve, and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Oh, sure. What could go wrong? Some nights I come here and there's no oh, there's to talk to from there, can <laughs> Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why you can see that? the family resemblance, can't you? Uh -huh. You and I want the same thing. Do we? Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Porta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. I mean, someone Art else did. Varieties. So you've heard of her? Vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Vanya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. 
I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? Everything I hear has something good about it. I see you're a man of strong opinions. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halle? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Huh. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. If you're the strongest, you have the power. That's certainly true. Among children. Whoever wants it the most is willing to do anything for it. Has the power. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Sure. Now how she misses just a car in the middle of the club, I don't know. Giant freaking sort <laughs> I know, right? I'm gonna talk about the elephant in the Sorry, just to get it there. <laughs> a gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. Yeah, I'm sure it didn't. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. Like, how many clues do we need, Dada? Uh, oh, right, she's a murderous psychopath. We all probably need. Ooh, sorry for damage. <coughs> Can I keep the sword when we're done here? Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. Alright, let's get this show on the road. I love clubs. <coughs> People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission. I think we share that, you and I. We've both killed many times. But that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. to my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Nope. Don't count on it. But you, who are you? Oh no, I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. <laughs> Surprise. Maureen. Mother, <coughs> do not call me. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother, you made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. That's not really a question. End of the line, Morin. And they call me a monster. <clears throat> Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. How bad is it to make Shepard look away? I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, 
What do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Let's go. Yeah, that's uh... Samara has dealt with the Ardak Yaksha. She remains loyal to Shepard personally. A loyalty to Chestakar beyond question given apparent bonds of oath rendered to Shepard. Better than hoped. Cerberus activity will not be affected further by presence of Shepard's team. Relieved to have Justicar's mission completed. Unfortunately, body of Ardak Yakshi could not be taken for study. Genetic abnormality could have been useful. Subject's expertise would have made her a valuable mem team member if sociopathic tendencies are mitigated. Fun fact! Uh, apparently, in a rather counterintuitive way, the opportunity to recruit her only pops up if you have a high enough paragon or renegade to resist. Because that makes total sense, right? Because if you got a high enough paragon to, re uh, to resist her influence, you're totally going to side with her, right? So... I understand that you had a lot of rain. Honestly, anybody who sides with her gets what they, uh, gets what they deserve. I mean, she takes uh, Samara's place on the team, and then she doesn't return for Mass Effect 3 because she's fucking dead. Which is, no. Well, yeah. By being a bastard, you lose allies. Who'd have thought? Anywho. That's another couple dealt with. Steadily chipping away. More next time. Laters. Bye. -bye.